Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. I got a great review, and, and it made me laugh. We all need to laugh. I love comedies, you guys know that. Uh, if you don't, that's one of my favorite uh, all kind of shows. And I uh, was watching the Trailer Park Boys, so I thought I would review the scene where Julian and Ricky get out of jail. And, and, and it's kind of cool, because if one, it brought back memories, made me laugh, the stuff that happened was actually true, uh, if you want to call it that, true. But anyway, before I get started, please check us out on the YouTube member programs. Please check us out also on Patreon. Check out my book. You'll see about getting out of prison and how rough it can be. Uh, I literally couldn't buy a cup of coffee, and I was screwed up. So, let's jump right into this, I guess, a review or uh, talk about this show. Wake up call, Delta, Charlie Blocks. Pick up gate two. Well, the name of the episode is What the Fuck Happened to Our Trailer Park? There's two main characters, Julian. How's the new dog going, buddy? Go fuck yourself, Julian. Oh, that's nice. And the other character's name is Ricky. Julian's thinking is Julian's thinking is clearer than Ricky's. Exactly. Now, they're just trying to make their way. They're, they're coming up with schemes and shit that made me laugh my balls off. Making pot, robbing radios. Well, anyway, here they are. They have them coming out of jail. Now... This is kind of, it said prison in the thing, but then jail, because they did 18 months. Uh, obviously, 18 months is over a year. You do go to state prison. But it kind of almost sounded like county jail, but it wasn't. It was supposedly uh, uh, state prison. Fuck, it's good to see you, man. Oh, you too. How come you guys got your shirts on? I remember we got busted at the wedding. We didn't have any other clothes to put on, for fuck's sakes. But here they are, dressed in the, the same get-ups that they were arrested in. And that is normal. You know, if you want, you can get actually in prison, when you get out of prison, you can actually have clothes sent in to the prison, and you can wear what, what they send in, what your family sends in. Now, if you don't have money, which obviously these guys don't, you can get what they call state-issue clothes, uh, which is usually a pair of jeans, a white shirt, the mobile sneakers, uh, sometimes boots, depends if they have your size, a pair of underwear, and that's it. Uh, you will get and a belt so you will get that they will issue you that but most people most people get clothes sent in uh, when I got out I actually didn't have clothes sent in uh, I, I got what they gave me because I, I didn't want to have anything to do with anybody sending me anything or picking me up I just didn't want to do that that's that wasn't my goal at that point my goal was to get on a bus without handcuffs and shackles well anyway Getting back to the comedy, Ricky and and Julia. Let me let me emphasize this. Julian is kind of a I don't know. He reminds me of an Italian guy with the hair. With the they, Ricky's got the sideburns. Oh my God, is it it funny? And uh, Julian's supposedly the smarter one, and Ricky is the 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 crazy one. And Bubbles is there like I don't know what he is. Well, he picks them up in a car. The car's got no door on it. <laughs> Made me laugh, because first of all, you can't even be riding around with no door on a car. I mean, what do you think this is, a Jeep? They got this beat up car and they get picked up and they, first thing they do, the first thing they do is go from the jail, they come up with a scheme to rob radios. Julian's got these guys on the inside that are gonna smuggle in a bunch of dope that we grow, sell it for big money in there, and then we can retire and never have to break the law again. It's perfect, man, it's easy. All we have to do is get some equipment and grow dope. This is true, this, this, this is the episode. These are two dudes getting out of jail. What do you think the first thing most people wanna do when they get out of jail? Go home, get a good meal, see family, get laid. Obviously, that's the first thing you wanna do when you get out of jail. Uh, first thing I wanted to do was eat. I uh, always tell you that eating was more than anything. So the first thing I wanted to do was eat. Anyway, getting on to this a little bit more. Here we are. They get out of jail. Now Ricky's wanting to go home to see his his girlfriend Lucy. You know who he doesn't know at this point is gone. You are banging Randy. That is fucked. I am not banging him. I'm in love with him. Okay, and I can't tell you how much happier I am being with a real man who has a job and who does a little more with his life than grow dope and live in a car. And how true is that? Do you know, there was a statistic that came out years ago, 95% of all people who go to prison for more than three years get divorced. Think of that. 
It's a big number. Actually, it's not a, 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 a bad number when you think about 50% of all people who, who get married today get divorced. 50%. Think of that. Just regular. Without the uh, uh, barriers of uh, uh, offense between you. No sex. No money. No relationship. No communications. So it's no surprise. Well, anyway, these clowns, they come out. Their first thought, how are we going to make money? Now, don't get me wrong. When you're in prison, your thought is, what am I going to do when I get out? Now, I happen to be lucky. I educated myself. Uh, I was going to work in a law firm, do briefs and stuff like that as a paralegal. But I ended up going the other route and starting a reality check program. But you do have thoughts what you do. So what do these clowns do? This is what makes this fucking great. They go try to rob radios. Well, Rick and Julian, I know they got to steal some car stereos and whatnot to get back on their feet, but I don't want to have any fucking part of that. You know, I don't know how to be non... I, I, I don't want to be uh, offensive to anyone. This guy Bubbles looks kind of like he's slow or something of that nature. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if retardation is the name anymore or, or whatever it is, but he's definitely slow and not not the slickest. They got him with the big thick bottle glasses, which doesn't mean anything. It just means his eyes are bad. But he's also slow anyway. Now, back in the day, they had those radios. Radios were a big deal to get robbed back in those days. Now, I'm, I'm guessing this was based in the '80s because with the clothes and stuff like that, that's kind of what it, it it gave me the feel. So they're robbing radios out of a out of a fucking thing, and they get and actually a security guard comes up to them, and and, and, he, and they 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 flip the switch on the security guard, kind of saying, "I think two guys in suits are gonna be stealing stereos. It's not us; it's some other dickheads." This isn't this isn't us. We didn't do this. Somebody else robbed this shit. And, and, and which look at you're not doing your job. It, I think they just like to show the moronic of people. The 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 the. You know, no common sense. No, it, it's just it's kind of funny. So I got a kick out of that. So they they get they actually were robbing radios. They were gonna rob so many radios, get the money for the radios, and then get the money to to make hydroponic pot. They're gonna grow pot and sell it, but they needed the money to build all their shit up, and uh, you know they would grow them high, and they have no idea what they're doing. So here they are now. Julian is the chant, the, the the brains of the operation, but Ricky comes up with the excuse on, on you're not doing your job, buddy. How look at this, this, you think guys dress like us because they were dressed in nice clothes. And believe it or not, the way I dressed in robberies was important too. You know, I always put people at ease uh, by showing them that, hey, listen, I, I'm a regular guy, I got a nice Rolex, I got a ring, sports jacket, nice shirt. And people notice that, so they don't look at you as suspicious. I know it's it's a bad uh, uh, thing to do because you should judge it, everything as it comes, not you know like judging a book by its cover. I often think about that with young people. We judge people who uh, uh, wear different hair colors or have different styles or stuff. Don't judge people, please, everybody. Just don't judge people because it's bullshit. Some of the smartest kids I know and young people I know they have purple hair or whatever. It doesn't mean shit doesn't mean shit at all anyway getting back to this uh, great show so trailer park these guys go out and they go in there in a mall or whatever it looked like a mall and they get caught but they don't get caught they get, they talk their way out of it because they were robbing all these radios and the radios reminded me of my time you know we used to steal them we used to steal radios. radios was a big thing you know you take off the knobs you go back there were two screws on the back I even remember that that's bad there are two screws on the back and you actually unplug it and you can pull the radio out after you take the knobs off and stuff. And now you got the radio and you used to sell those radios. So anyway, here we are. They get away with it. Now, Ricky wants to go home. He wants to meet his girl. What does he find? A guy in the neighborhood, the trailer park, another whack job, stole his girl. Now, it's not stealing your girl. You know, I used to tell kids when they used to come to prison, I said, let me tell you something. You're in prison now. If she's sending you money, she's doing the right thing and writing you and visiting you or whatever, shut your fucking mouth. She's not in jail. And they go, what do you mean? Uh, uh, oh, she's going to cheat on me. What do you mean cheat on you? You think she's in jail? So if you went to jail for five years or whatever you ever went to jail for, you think your girl's not going to be at home not getting laid and doing her thing? Think about what I'm saying. It's unrealistic. Totally unrealistic. 
So once you go to jail, you just got to start reevaluating your your relationships with somebody like that. Because if you don't, you're going to be in shock. You're going to go, oh, they shouldn't do that. How, and how can you do anything? How can you control anything? You can't control anything. Remember that. You can't control anything. You're in jail. You can't do shit. She can go tell you, go fuck yourself. It does not matter. You don't get, get to answer any of this shit. Anyway, getting back to these trails. So he goes, he goes, he looks for his girl. And his girl is in the trailer of a guy that they know. And, you know, she's like, you know, a floozy in this one. You know, I, I can't just wait around for him getting in and out of jail all the time. I've got, like, a life I'm trying to pull together so I can be a good parent and, and a good person. Ricky, you went away on me. You, you, you know, typical, oh, my God, I want to pull my hair out. If I had hair, I'd pull my hair out. And I just got a kick at that, a really big kick out of that show. So, anyway, here we are. The two things that come out that really struck home, actually. And what I mean by this is... Let me tell you something. All that stuff actually hit me a little bit. What I mean by that is you lose relationships. Things come out. Everything is different. You know, where the fuck is my trailer park? I get that. Where things change and you don't even realize it. And, and it could be people changes. It could be actual physical changes. Neighborhoods change. I mean, I went away for over a decade. So when you go away for that long, things change, period. I mean, it's roads change, buildings change, everything changes in a decade. Even in a year and a half, things change, people change, people move, new people come in. And that is just the way that happens. And what really kind of got me like realizing this show was, is kind of like based on somebody who knew what they were doing. And I say that, but I'm sure they had some people or writers that realize, you know, this is really what happens. You lose everything. You have no money when you come out. Uh, they didn't show anything about probation and checking in and stuff like that. See, mostly, most people, when they get out of prison, unless you're getting straight out and because you did your time or whatever, you got to report to probation department. They call it parole, probation, whatever. Parole, probation, same thing. You, you actually go and you have to report. Now, when you report, then they give you, they want to know where you live in, they check your house. Actually, before you get out of prison, they go check the facility you're going to go to. They don't just let you out. There. They actually go to your house. When I got out, they came to my mother's house. I came to Florida and they came to my mother's house, inspected the house, inspected it. Made sure there were no guns in the house. Made sure that they knew who I was. Make sure that it was I okay to come there. Even my mother. But anyway, that's just what they do. Obviously with me on this place, when anything comes from jail, it really, I mean, it, my, my eyes go up and I go, okay, is this gonna be real or what, what's it gonna be like? Because, you know, when you see somebody who, who comes from a jail, I wanna know if they're, they're real. First of all, it, you know, these guys are, are too stupid. Well, first of all, there's nothing to rat on, I don't think. They're all just wackos in this county jail, uh, 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 trailer park. But, you know, it, and I, listen, please, it, I'm not, uh, a, what do you call, uh, uh, disparaging anyone. I love trailers. My grandparents lived in a trailer. Uh, my aunt lived in a trailer. Uh, my cousin lives in a trailer right now. I love them, to be honest. In Florida, there's mobile, we call them mobile homes. I would buy one in a minute. People say, would you buy a trailer, for, uh, a mobile home? Absolutely. I'm not talking about my mobile home that I drive. I'm talking about, like, living them. You know what it is, guys? When you go to prison, you don't look at things like that anymore. You don't look at the little things. You don't you don't look at a big house. I want this. I want that. I lived in a cell. I lived in a little prison cell. So a trailer home or a mobile home is just huge. It's gorgeous. I love it. I just I don't get people. People worry about the wrong things in life. I don't know what you have in life, but you know, don't worry about material things because they're not going to make you happy. These guys in the trailer park, and I again, I did not notice researching it. The show comes from Canada, and uh, then they was you know Netflix picked them up, and it came out in 2001, I think it was. Uh, yeah, 2001, April of 2001. Now this month of 2001, and it, it went for eight seasons. That's a that's a long time. And then in 2013, Netflix picked it up. So. Uh, Netflix, now they have new episodes. Now, I just read, they have their own uh, station or own channel. And I don't know if it's on YouTube, where it's at. And 
they actually have new episodes uh, coming out. I think January 21, they had a prison episode. I'm going to look that one up too. I just got hooked in these series. If you don't get hooked in these series, then maybe you don't have a funny bone. You know, uh, I don't know what your comedy is. My comedy is just stupidity sometimes. I like no-brainer shit. I don't want to have to think through things. I don't want to have to, oh my God, what's going on? What? I'm not into that, guys. I'm into more laugh, Caddyshack. I don't know. I'll list my five. Five best comedies is probably Caddyshack, Back to School. Oh, my God. Joe, Pe uh, Joe Pesci and, and Rodney Dangerfield. Uh, just great. Uh, easy Money. It's another Rodney movie. Uh, obviously, I like the old Blazing Saddles, stupid stuff. Mel Brooks. Just stupid stuff. Like, I don't know. Comedies make me laugh. I, I, I do love comedies. That that I can watch a comedy over and over again, just because some the way they're good. When they're good, they're good. Anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoy Trailer Park Boys. Check it out, really check it out. Let me know what you think of this episode. It's season two on Netflix, episode one. Where the fuck is my what in the fuck happened to our Trailer Park? Is the name of the episode, and it's with Julian, Ricky, and the Bubbles, of course. Uh, check it out. You'll get a kick out of it. And you'll get a kick out of what happens in these things. And what I mean by that is like how I look at them. I look at them like the prison end of it. So it's kind of weird. I know. Uh, but check it out. You'll enjoy it. Have a great day, everybody.